We implemented new features on the cpplang.net website. Some people were concerned about the default text size on our site. Now you can quickly adjust it to your liking by clicking this button. This feature is available when browsing any document. We've also added more handy components that are now used inside our pages. Possible undefined behaviors can be now marked with inline danger. Important notes can use inline caution style. We've added version related components, similar to what you saw on CPP reference. And last but not least, we're rolling out an experimental feature, better browsing through function overloads. This is just a testing phase, but you can see it for yourself. Some functions just have a massive amount of overloads. Take a look for example at all these string constructors. We didn't want to leave it like this on our website so we separated them and added more examples. But then we realized that browsing through all this text just to find a proper overload will be annoying. To solve this problem, we added a way to jump between them with arrows. Click this button to toggle the browsing mode and now you can quickly navigate between all of the available overloads. Hit escape to disable it. You can also use the shift plus n shortcut to toggle modes. Give it a try and tell us what you think in the comments. Please keep in mind that we're now in the middle of porting and reworking the standard library containers documentation. This browsing mode is available to test only on string and vector constructors that we completely reworked, but we will be gradually rolling it out to more documents. Don't forget to join our Discord server using the link in the description. Stay tuned.